Dave Dooling here in the front row. Bob. For Abe, uh, you've done a bit of brag on how you've managed to be uh, turnaround time and your hopes for the future. But the National Research Council recently reported that if you're going to reach the 40 per year flight rate you're hoping for, you need essentially one more of just about everything, possibly even six or seven orbiters. And uh, uh, they held out the potential for uh, long downtimes, both in terms of orbiters, spares, et cetera. Have, you had a ch have your office had a chance to analyze that report? Uh, do you agree with it? And what are you doing to meet the shortfalls as you perceive them? Uh, I think the report is quite consistent with what we've said, uh, both in our testimony and, and in our budget statements in particular. Uh, the report was, of course, referring to getting to the problem of getting up to an arbitrary rate of 40. Uh, our plans right now are to get to 24 per year uh, by uh, 1988, and we hope, obviously, that the market and the demand will warrant going above that. Uh, the important things are there are some facilities that have to be filled in. We are pursuing uh, the facility question uh, and trying to fill those in. Probably the most important particular investment is spares. Uh, and knows just how hard we've been working in terms of expanding our investment in shares. And we're doing that by uh, cutting manpower in various parts of the program, uh, which is all part of the overall plan of making the shuttle more effective and more efficient. So uh, it, it, I believe that report is basically consistent with uh, what we have said. And what we have said is that uh, in order to get to those high flight rates of 40 per year or so, we need at least an additional uh, orbiter, uh, and in addition to that, uh, an investment in facilities uh, and earth. So uh, we have no objection, it says in the report.